a guest in the audience asks a question at the sign poster screen the adverts before they go public. Um, if you end up with a complaint to the Advertising Standards Authority and you come and tell us that that's our fault, we'd say no, it's not, it's your fault because it, your ad was clearly so good that people noticed it and saw it and it got them so annoyed and angry that they rang up the Advertising Standards Authority. In other words, advertising works. Um, if you then ring us up and tell us that lots of people have complained to the Advertising Auth Standards Authority and it's our fault, we'd say yeah, it is our fault. It means that lots and lots of people saw your ad and therefore our poster sites work and do the job that you've asked them to do. Um, we don't screen or monitor advertisements except to ensure that they are legal. Um, that is to say that they should not contain um, bad language. Um, although that's not to say that you can't run poster campaigns without bad language indirectly. Uh, I think I've got an example. Whew, not often that happens. Um, but it just goes to show that you can use bad language without actually using bad language. Um, and you can be kind of amusing and humorous about it. So yeah, we screen, we do screen um, inbound ads to make sure that they aren't actually breaking the law. Um, if they're, if, if we think they're silly, we won't necessarily tell you that because who's to say that something we think is silly actually isn't funny or clever or au courant of the moment in a particular part of, of the UK. How would, how would we know? Um, so yeah, we do, we do screen it, but only to make sure that it's street legal. Apart from that, you're free to do with your space whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, a couple of tips on advertising law. Um, your, your advertising must be true and it must be provable. Um, so for instance, if you are uh, the Mars company, uh, you are allowed to advertise Maltesers, the lighter way to enjoy chocolate, even though if you pick up a bag of Maltesers and you look at the calorific content of the said bag of Maltesers and compare it to the infinitely heavier, for instance, Mars bar, and girls, you might be surprised to know this, the Maltesers have more calories. Yeah. Oh dear. How do you get away with that? Well, you just take out a pair of scales and you put a Mars bar in one end and a bag of Maltesers in the other and the advertising agency looks at the Advertising Standards Authority and says, see, Maltesers are lighter. A guest asks the question, when the poster has been booked and paid for, how soon will it go live? That depends on how soon the slot that you've picked becomes available. Um, it's possible that it would be um, two to three weeks later. Um, in certain parts of the world, Glasgow for instance, city centre, um, advertising here would tend to be booked two to three months in advance and people are vying for those particular spots. So a good rule of thumb is to think three to four months ahead. Think, think ahead. So if you wanted to run a campaign for Christmas, you'd be doing it now.